Hey everyone, my name is Arnav, and I'm here to give a solution outline to Cookie Cutter from the 2022 NAC. So in Cookie Cutter, uh, you're given this large square cookie with M points on it. Uh, and you want to cut this cookie in two using a single straight line. Uh, let B be the number of chips on your half of the cookie, and let A be the area of your cookie. You want to maximize this unitless quantity, which is the fraction of the chips you get minus the fraction of the area you get. This is, uh, you know, I guess a form of density. Um, there's uh, the side length of the cookie is up to 10,000. All the chips are on integer points, and there's at most 3,000 chips. Okay, how would you go about solving this? Well, unsurprising to anybody, this is a, a geometry problem. And because this is an outline and not a detailed solution video, I'm going to assume some familiarity with uh, coordinate geometry. In particular, you should be comfortable uh, finding which side of a line a point is on, um, finding line-line intersections, uh, and all of the uh, prerequisites for those techniques. Uh, it would be helpful to uh, be familiar with uh, radial sweeps, but I'll go over the theory of that a little bit uh, at the end of this video. And uh, I'm also going to assume that given a line uh, you can intersect it with the square and compute the area of both sides of the square. Um, the general way of doing this is called polygon clipping, and I think the algorithm is named after Sutherland and Hodgman, but because we have a square and a single line, a bunch of ad hoc approaches will work here as well. Uh, and I won't go into the details of that. So, uh, with that all out of the way, let's talk about, let's try and characterize all of the candidate lines we need to consider. So one thing that's uh, pretty apparent is if you start with a line that doesn't intersect any chips, you can always move that line on the square uh, in order to get a smaller area, but uh, still cover the same number of chips on your half. So we can always uh, move, so every candidate line has to go through at least one chip. Now a pretty obvious uh, not obvious, but this, this sample is uh, very suggestive. It, uh, it shows a, a line that goes through two chips. So a very natural question is, um, can we rotate this line always and get a optimal answer that passes through two chips? And uh, as you can probably tell by the way I'm uh, phrasing this question, uh, the, the answer is no. And this is what we call, uh, this is what we on the judging team call a corner case. So here we have uh, two chips, and the line passing between them uh, would cross the main diagonal and give you half the area of the cookie. However, if you take this line, um, you get less than half the cookie, uh, but still have both chips. So this is clearly better than the line passing through both chips. So uh, let theta be the angle that this line makes with the x-axis, and let's uh, uh, temporarily say uh, the cookie is, is infinite, and it's just bounded by the x-axis, the y-axis, and this line. Uh, which theta should we pick to um, minimize the area of this line? Uh, I'm sure there's a geometric solution to this, I just kind of bash it out with calculus, uh, and the angle theta should be negative arcan of y over x, where xy is the, the chip we're considering. This is pretty cool. Um, another way of phrasing this is if you consider the line going through x, y, it, it's the negative angle of the, of the point itself. Uh, so the line going through x, y also needs to go through 0, 2, y, and 2, x, 0. So you can still represent all of the lines um, that you need to consider uh, with two integer points. Okay, so we've handled the corner case, and every other line we want to consider goes through two points. So let's uh, fix one specific chip we want. We need to try the, the four corners using this uh, arcan uh, formula we discovered on the last slide. And then we also need to consider all lines which go through two or more chips. So in summary, we have m chips to consider. There's m angles per chip, you know, four plus m minus one. And uh, there's, it takes O of m time to see is a chip on a side of a line or not. Um, and then we also need to evaluate the area of the square after we've made a cut through a specific line. I'm going to say that's uh, constant time. Uh, all in all, this is O of M cubed, uh, which is too slow when uh, M is 3000. So how can we speed this up? Uh, this is a, a common technique in these kinds of geometry problems is to uh, do a sweep. 
So what we do is, let's say the chip we're considering is this red chip on the bottom of the cookie. So we'll start by uh, drawing lines through each other chip, and then we'll also draw lines through the angles we need to consider. That's um, negative arc tan uh, and uh, the same line rotated uh, 90 degrees. Uh, so when we now we have all of these lines, and we'll sort them by angle. So we'll start with the blue line, just like a flat horizontal line, then we'll move on to the uh, orange line, then the red line, then the gray line, uh, and so on and so forth. And the thing to note is that every time uh, you uh, move from one line to the next, the overall chip count uh, changes by at most one. Uh, so you don't have to um, recompute uh, which side of the line every chip is on. So uh, we've kind of changed this problem to do uh, in the form of events. So uh, each event is an angle, um, it's, and it's a chip delta. Uh, so, so for a specific chip at an angle theta, we say uh, when we're at angle theta, we add this chip. When we're at angle negative theta, we remove this chip. Then by sorting all of the events and uh, uh, stepping through them, uh, for a fixed chip, we can compute the best uh, line that goes through that chip in O of M log M time. Since there's O of M chips total, uh, the overall runtime is M squared log M. On implementation note that may trip up some teams, uh, when you add a chip, you want to add that chip before you consider the area of that uh, cut. But when you remove a chip, you want to remove the chip after considering the area of the cut. And this is because any line that passes through a chip if a line passes through a chip, the chip can count for either side. So we always want to uh, count it for, all, for our side. Um, I think that's about it for this problem. I, I hope you enjoyed Cookie Cutter. Good luck.